Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play! I just didn't want to deserve that little intro there, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we're doing Super Mario Land 3! Wario Land! Yeah, this is where the Mario Land series turned into the Wario Land series. A fun little game. Back from uh, the Game Boy days. And uh, we start here on Rice Beach. Our uh, Wario's goal is to make a lot of cash, so we're gonna help him. So you got your basic jump and pick up, and uh, he's got like a shove attack there that um, can uh, force uh, the enemy to drop the money, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, this is the entire first area uh, on this video. Uh, this game's pretty short, being a handheld Mario game. But no less challenging being a platformer of its time. Uh, hearts if you get enough of them, um, contribute to extra lives. If you get a uh, hundred hearts, you get an extra life, because Mario, it's all about the money. And here's a power up, uh, we get the bubble horns. Uh, they can stick in ceilings as well. And you can do like a power drop move with them when you jump and hold them down. Now uh, we will be coming back to this level later because um, there are secrets here that we can't get yet. So I will, will be showing them off. And I was a bit silly there, so I should have left one for that, but oh uh, well. Yeah, don't uh, do a dash into them dudes when they've got the arrow walking towards you, because uh, Wario will lose. Yes, uh... So, yep, so let's get rich. I'll be showing off the uh, drop attack here. Say it's like a pound, ground pound, which is pretty good. And uh, this just leads back here for some reason. So, if you wanted to go down there, or you got stuck in there and you couldn't get out. from the intro there, Wario is going after this pirate gang's treasure. So, yay. And uh, when he's in the smallest, he doesn't have a hat on. Now, as long as you got a power up, uh, you will be uh, able to survive one hit. Yes, uh, and uh, they are different hats in this game uh, that give Wario a number of different powers, which is uh, fun to explore with. And uh, this we cannot do yet due to factors like the type not being in. So it, it is worth to come back to levels later on, but when something changes. I like how the blocks have faces when you'd like take the item to look angry at you. <laughs> Pretty cool. Makes a change from the uh, old question mark blocks to the original Mario. And they do say change is good. Because uh, Wario's branching out with his own game here. And uh, here we are, end of uh, level one. This guy here is just to show you what to do after hitting the level. Now, uh, at the end of the uh, level, you get to play a nice little bonus game. And it's uh, 
finesse the pot. And uh, every time you do that, it doubles your money, which is good. Yes, I am using safe states, because I want to get the best ending for you guys. So that means... Um, Best amount of money. And uh, this is where you bank all your money after the end of the level. That air through all our hidden treasures you can find. treasures. There we go, nice beach too. I think we're in like some sort of wreckage here. Try to fleece as much money out of these enemies as well, which is good. I like uh, how simplistic the music is, but how good it is at the same time. They could really get that uh, Game Boy to produce some good chip tunes. I will be getting to that door, but not from here. Uh, there's a way you can do it. Uh, this is another power-up. Um, you can hover with it. Which is cool. So if you like jump at a certain height, it'll let you jet across in a hover. There's a new power up, um, this will give you uh, firepower. You can bounce off that one, but you can't kill it. And it even works underwater. Or something. Yeah, like a little different animation for the underwater. Because it's clear out the enemies in front of you and you'll be fine. And there we go. Uh, that there's a checkpoint, I believe, so pay a coin. And it'll light up. blocks which is good. Now I don't know why I'm running back this way. Yeah. I don't know, probably to release coins out of these blocks. And let's keep going. Get back to the bullhorns. 
because I can't start fleeting the enemy. Okay, we're getting through this. Uh, that enemy is dodgy, so be careful. I think you can kill it from underneath. Or if you've got firepower. Yeah, go back and get the dragon hat. Yeah, get rid of that last enemy. Secret hat there revealed, which is good. There's some pirate double stacks on the intro. Ah, that's another level done. Uh, the other one had different types of games. It costs money to play, it gives you lives. But I'm, most, I'm gonna be mostly playing this one. Now, when you see uh, levels with a little circle in it, it means there's a, a second exit. And watch out for these crabs. Uh, you can hit them from behind, but not from above or from the front. And uh, that's quicksand, it'll drag you down into those plants. You really don't want to touch them. Hey, let's keep moving. Okay, we've got a couple of hats down here, which is good. Bags is another life here. But I think this game has uh, individual music. Now, um, I missed the obvious uh, route down here, but later on I find another one, then I f start thinking, oh, maybe there's a secret there. And there was. There we go. That can be a little bit to activate. Starting to get me thinking, oh, maybe I've missed something. And then when I get to this part, I uh, end up going down one of these. At first, I thought it was a death trap, so I thought I'd save state and have a look. But no, it's not a death trap. This is where I learn you can, like, stick in the uh, ceiling. So, I went to these guys. 
Okay, so turn around so I can hit him in the back. I'm heading back to that other area. Yeah, it's that middle one we get to go down. The secret door! There's quite a lot of coins down here. And there's this guy. He always goes backwards every time you hit him. He seems very angry. Ah. Now we got rid of him. Yeah, the game doesn't leave you stranded down here. Which is very nice of it. And that comes back out here, so we found that hidden passage. But this level has more to offer, which we'll see next video. And uh, these sand floors push you down, so... That, that's a little bit tricky. I'm getting coin greedy again, but it is the point of the game. Yep, I got too greedy. And I lost my uh, power up. And there's the end of the level, but if you look up there, it seems like the level continues, and it does. I was trying to get up there, but nope. And I thought, oh, when that rises up, I should be able to jump up. But then uh, it doesn't have a hitbox anymore, and you fall straight through it. Which is wonderful. Okay, let's end this level. Okay, let's play the bonus game again. Ah, uh, better save state. <laughs> some cash. My stellar editing skills. Yay! <laughs> and we're on to the next part of my speech. Uh, this is the last actual level. I died, so I cut off the failed attempts. Yeah, this thing will chase you in this part. So good job the game starts you off at a big warrior on each level. Yeah. 
Yeah, watch out for these uh, bats that can knock you into that, uh, lava. And it's instant death. I'm gonna do that, which isn't good. So, uh, just be careful here. chase you again, so just get ahead of it. So the level's pretty short. And we'll go through the door. Now uh, the, these swamp things, uh, swamp I think they're related to swamps. You can kill enemies, so uh, that's pretty good. And the door's already open for you. And we're playing another game of the uh, guest uh, cans. Hey. So, uh, we're almost at the end of uh, right speech. Uh, all we got left is the boss now, so we're gonna go take him off. Since this was like the first video, I thought I'd go for a bit of length on it. Um, just to show the game off on its mechanics and whatnot. seems quite pleased with himself. He's got over a thousand coins already. And uh, let's go to the last level. For boss time! Oh no, we've got a bit of a gauntlet to run before we get to the boss. Got with a knife in McGee. Now we have to bash these without getting crushed. I like how it knocked that enemy on its ass. Now oh, this one's gonna be tricky. Oh, we got the points. Just use that to get past that. We just gotta avoid these glowy things, because uh, they'll give you a bad time if you do. I like that, that little Mario crawl. Let's pay the uh, checkpoint. like charging trucks them guys when they kick the balls yeah I didn't realize you could charge into these guys from behind And uh, 
and here is the conundrum. How do we get to these three? Well, let's take that door and find out. There's a switch. Now the way is clear. Time for boss time. Still lose. I like the boss music. But that uh, noise when it gets hit reminds me of a Metroid. I'm pretty sure it's the same noise from uh, Metroid 2. And we beat the boss. Now uh, grab the coins, grab the coins, and I don't have a speed dash on the load, get away from me. And yay, one last bonus game to play. Of left or right bucket. I think I actually maxed out the counter on this one. You, you get like uh, 999 max coins on these. There we go, 999, which is good. Collect all these coins, and we'll be on this merry way. And this takes a while to count down. Can't skip it. Nope, game just won't let you skip it. You have to watch this countdown. We've uh, got quite a lot of cash from where we are. He looks quite happy. And uh, join us again next time. Where we'll be going back to ride 